Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm excited because I get to show you the progress on my scrappy shawl and I get to film outside today. <laughs> I'm trying to beat the rain though. We got rain coming. I felt a few sprinkles, but I haven't got to videotape outside in a while and I, I'm going to do it today. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and also um, I apologize for any kind of noises you'll hear, but I do have pets and my neighbor's got pets so you might hear some barking and stuff. I got deer that will show up in the back and my one dog likes to sit and bark at them. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, she gets really close to them too. They actually want to play with her. It's kind of funny. I need to videotape it so you guys can see it. But anyway, um, I want to say welcome to everybody. And if you're new, I will tell you a little bit about what I'm working on, which you can see it's a show. <laughs> I am working on a scrappy project along with my friend Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy. She is doing a scrappy project along with her family and how they're doing it is they're going and picking out a scrap ball, putting it in a bag and bringing it to her and then she reveals it to us and it is a surprise to her and to us and she's putting it into this absolutely gorgeous blanket that just gets prettier and prettier every day and it has a heart right in the middle of it and whoever gets to pick the scrap ball gets to pick out a fun family activity for all of them to do that night so it sounds like a lot of fun and i wanted to keep my friend company and i decided to join in and being that it's just me and my hubby i asked him if he'd be willing to participate and he said he would <laughs> so he comes into my craft room picks out a one of my scrap balls that i've got in a bucket and i uh he puts it in the project bag, and then I sit and reveal it to you guys, and it's a surprise to uh, us all. And then I'll go in and sit down and watch Ashley's video while I put the row in. So this is what I got, which is a scrappy shawl. And this is a free pattern by Regina Wise, and I will put a picture of it right here and a link down below where you guys can go check it out. It's a really easy uh, shawl pattern, and it's a good way to bust through your scraps. And I've made one before. And I really loved it, but this one here is, uh, this one's for me this time. So, anyway, I can't wait for me bent to, to get to wear it. And I'm hoping it'll be big enough, because I am I worked it out to where there was enough rows in it to where it will end exactly on Valentine's Day. I had to play catch up the first night, though, which was the first five rows. But anyway, here's the color that we put in last night. And it was uh, that Super Saver Ombre, and I can't remember the colorway, but it was a scrap ball. Turned into a scrap ball because I had it at a project and didn't like it. And then I ended up frogging it and got this. But didn't I didn't, the shawl wasn't big enough to where it would be to where it started changing the colors. Because it had a little bit of a lighter color right there, but I didn't get to that color. But that's okay. But it's turning out really pretty. And I love this. It's really pretty. Okay, so we're going to see what he's put in the project bag for the next color. I want to show it to you guys before I see it, so it makes it exciting. <laughs> okay, all right guys, did he, did he get a new color or is it a repeat? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a repeat, but that's okay. I kind of thought it was. It was one that he had repeated, or one in the very beginning. Not in the beginning, but close. <laughs> but anyway, we get my kitty cat. He wants to join in. <laughs> Go on, Oliver. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be really pretty right there next to that. Yeah, that's going to be pretty. And I might be able to get the other colors because there is some different colors in there. I think this is a Red Heart Super Saver uh, stripes. <laughs> Come on, Oliver. <laughs> he wants to be in the video. Uh, anyway. It's a Red Heart Super Saver, and it's, I think it's a Stripes. I'm not sure, but that'll be really pretty. I made some leg warming, leg warmers out of this. I need to show those again. They're so pretty. But anyway, that's going to be really pretty. Can't wait to put that in there. And I'll put a picture of what this looks like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but he's got my other ball on the porch rolling around. So, yeah, the one that's connected to this. But anyway, I'll put a picture of what this looks like up here where you guys can see it all stretched out. That's the excitement of being able to videotape outside where all your pets can get close to your <laughs> stuff. And he's having a good time with it right now. But anyway, yeah. So if you guys don't know who Ashley is, I will put a link down below where you can go and check out her video, A Super Sweet Friend. 
and I love watching her videos and yeah y'all go check her out but anyway I guess I'm gonna hop off of here I'm gonna try to do another video I don't know if I'll be able to do it outside but I'll I'll do it in my craft room I, I've been in the mood to switch it around and I did a little bit last night I been thinking about it but I don't know I switch it all the time and I, I kind of like doing that I like moving things around in the house kind of makes I don't know something new <laughs> I don't know. I would. I don't want to say I get bored because I really don't. But just something new, to, just to kind of liven it up a little bit, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna let you go, and I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll do this tonight because it's. I'm used to doing my videos at night. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna quit rambling, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I will be coming back up here probably today to do another video to show you my finished objects and some yarn that I got. I haven't gotten all of it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got because I got some projects I'm wanting to make. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And we'll be chatting at you soon. Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Uh, looks like I'm able to do another video outside before it rains. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Uh, I just got through filming my progress on my scrappy shawl and I want to get up here and share with you guys my finished objects. And a couple of whips, which I do have more than just a couple, but I haven't touched a few of them in a while. So I'm just going to show you what I've been working on. but And a little bit of yarn that I picked up. But anyway, um, I think today is the 6th. It's Saturday, I know that. So, but anyway, I thought maybe being outside, y'all might could see some deer if you look. Maybe they were just here and they ran off again. But if you look kind of down there, you might be able to see, see them down there. I don't know. But anyway. My finished objects, what I'm going to show you. I am so excited about the ones that I just finished. Um, I don't know if you remember me showing, sharing with you guys some of the bulky yarn that I got. The Burnett blanket yarn and some of the velvet yarn that I picked up at Walmart. And I couldn't wait to make something with it and I did. And I am really pleased with how it turned out. Now the first one I'm going to show you, got my notes, is called a Classic Crochet Bunny by One Dog Wolf. Uh, I was looking for a bunny that looked vintage type that was like the floppy type. I didn't want one that was kind of, you know, the stiff and all that. I just wanted it to look like something a little kid had been dragging around. So anyway, the floppiness that is. <laughs> but anyway, it is a free pattern on her blog and I will put a link down below where you guys can check it out. Remember me telling you about how I wanted to make a jelly bean bunny? Well, here he is. <laughs> Oh, he turned out so cute, and I'm so pleased with this pattern. I can't say enough about it, really, because it's so easy. And I had this bunny crocheted up. If I if I wouldn't had to stop several times to do other things, I would have had this one crocheted up probably in an hour and a half at the most because of the bulky yarn. I mean, it, look at his little tail. <laughs> he just turned out so cute. And I whip stitched his nose, and I, his little uh, uh, tail is a little pom pom that I made out of some, um, I think it was mainstay purple. And then the yarn that I used, I've got it in here somewhere. I got a little bit of it left. He reached out in here. Hopefully, my kitty will stay out of this stuff. <laughs> he didn't want to stay in, he wanted to come back out with me. So, but anyway, I used. Uh, Yarn Inspirations Burnett Baby Blanket, and it's a, uh, let me find the specs here, a size 6, and I do believe I used a size 5.5 uh, millimeter hook. I think that's an eye, I think, yeah. And anyway, this had like 220 yards in it, and this is what I had left after making that one. And the colorway is called Purple Polka Dot. <laughs> but I think he turned out so cute. And he is floppy. The next one I'm going to show you is really floppy. But he's, oh, he's just so soft. And that's the first time I've ever used the baby blanket yarn. And I love the way it works up. And when you sew it together, you can't see any mistakes that you made or, or where you sewed it together. I mean, it just turned out perfect. And I really love it. And it's just so squeezy and, and huggable. <laughs> Super pleased with this. Now, I did another one. And I did it in the velvet yarn that I showed you guys that I'd picked up. Let me reach down here and get it. Oh, I really love this one. 
Here it is. <laughs> oh, this one. This one's my favorite, I think. This velvet yarn is the one that I got from Walmart. It's mainstay. You reach down here and get it. What I had left. I think I brought, yep, it's got the ball band on it. I used, let me flop him down here. I used the velvet yarn mainstay. It's a six bulky and it's got 80 yards in it. I think I paid five something for it, almost six. And the other one was, it's 746, I think. And this is colorway uh, ballet sleep slipper ballet slipper kind of a rosy color so soft but this rabbit oh i love this rabbit he's floppy exactly the way i wanted it like the classic little bunny so cute and i gave him a little pom-pom tail there <laughs> and that's just mainstay white but look how cute he is and then i whip stitched his nose like i did the other one and the um uh, that might have been Hobby Lobby pink. I can't remember. Or it might have been Mainstay. It was a, uh, some scrap. But isn't, aren't they cute? Now see the si the difference in the size? This one is a little smaller. This one's bigger. And it didn't take long at all. And I love it because when you use this kind of yarn, you can't really see any mistakes that you made. Or where you sew it. Super fun though to make and just squishy and i absolutely love them i'm fixing to make another one because this one's going to a family member and so and i love my little jelly bean bunny <laughs> but like i said it's the same pattern and i can't say enough about it if you're looking for a really cute bunny pattern to make this one right here i recommend this one and i'll put a link down below where you guys can check it out and it is free on her blog and i use the same size of hook on this one that i did this just a bit of a difference there I don't know if you can see it, but not a whole lot, but a little. His belly looks bigger. Head, everything. But so soft. Gosh, I really love that yarn. So, yes, I I definitely, I got I got some more. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to making some different Amy's with it. Make a cute little Easter present. Something somebody can snug with. <laughs> okay, that's my finished objects there. Let's see. I got one more, but it's so tiny. It's down at the bottom of my pile here. <laughs> it is a paid-for pattern. I got it. I got my notes. Huh? Let me get my notes again. Sorry. I'm, sometimes I'm just not prepared. <laughs> okay. Now, this one here is by Teresa's Crochet Shop. And right now, she's actually having a sale. And it's, a, it's called Red and Pink Sale. And it's the last day is... Um, valentine's day and um they're two dollars a piece and it's the ones that that are either been done in red or pink celebrate valentine's and uh, like i said they're two dollars a piece so you might want to go check it out and i got this one when she actually put it on sale i think it might have been in her shop and then she redone something on it and then she put it on sale so cute it's called lulu the ladybug i had to have it guys <laughs> I love little bugs like this. Butterflies, ladybugs, bumblebees, and I had to have this one to put with put with my little collection. <laughs> Which actually I do have one bumblebee, but not this small. But isn't it cute? Oh, I, this pattern was so easy and fun to make. Yeah. So if you're looking for a little ladybug pattern, this one I recommend this one right here. And like I said, it's on sale right now for two dollars on her website till February the 14th and then I just whip stitch some white around its eyes and this is mainstay black and mainstay red and I think I used like a 10 for the eyes maybe 12 I think it was 12 anyway so cute and it was really easy so yeah I'll put a link down below if y'all want to go check it out she's got some really cute ones in there right now on sale some I'm eyeballing about wanting to do <laughs> Okay, now I think that's all my finished objects. Now my next ones are my whips. Jada from Jada and Stitches just came out with her second edition of her, what is it called? It's a mile a minute and it's her calendar blanket for 2021. I haven't made the, the, the next one, which came out Friday, which was yesterday. This was the first one. 
and this is mainstay oh it's some kind of blue it's not their normal blue but it's a different blue aqua or i don't remember i think it was a scrap ball that i had but i know it's mainstay and this is mainstay black and so I haven't picked out my colors yet to do my next segment, but I'm going to go in hopefully this evening and do my next segment. And she always comes out with a, a new row to do the first Friday of an, each month. So anyway, I got to get busy and do that one. And I'm really going to like this because I think I'm going to do each strip each month. It's going to be different what's in the middle. And I'm going to do my border I'm thinking in the black still, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to see. But anyway, this is a Jada and Stitches, and I'll put a link down below if you guys would like to try it out. It's pretty big. It's like six foot. It's going to be a pretty good size, so thought I'd try it. I've never done a Jada and Stitches uh, calendar blanket yet, so this will be my first one. And I can handle it once a month, so. <laughs> but anyway, that's that. And my other one is the Modern Granny shrug by Jeannie Steinhilber and it's the one that I show on my throwback Thursday I might have put in a couple more rows since the last time I showed it and uh, I'm really loving the way it's working out this is a free pattern on their blog and I'll put a link down below if you guys would like to go check it out but this is what I've got so far and it's actually like the one I've got on and uh, I wanted to make another one in uh, brighter colors and so this is what I got so far and this is done in Mandala Ombre. And it is in the colorway Serene. And it's got 344 yards in it. And I've got like five of these, so hopefully that's enough. I'm wanting to go around it like what I did here with the solid color. So I'm either going to go in and just do some, pull these colors out. Or I might just do very you know like it is here all the way around it and not worry about it so hopefully i got enough if not i i know they still sell this at walmart so anyway this is a size four or two but i think it's turning out really pretty and i can't wait to get it done and like i said this is the one i show on my throwback thursday i haven't come up with one yet on my throwback thursday what i'm going to do new so i've still got to look at my books i hadn't had a chance to go through them yet Okay, I do believe that's all I have to show on that. So now I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, show you my yarn, my little yarn haul that I got. Okay, I, a couple of these, about four of these, yeah, I ordered from Joanne. They had free shipping that day, and I wanted to get some different colors to make some more of those bunny rabbits. Now I made that with the bulky six. This is a five, so we'll see. Hopefully, I had enough, <laughs> or I ordered enough. And then the rest of it I got at Walmart. The first one I want to show you is I'm excited because they had the yellow at Walmart when I went yesterday. And I'm so excited. So I picked up two of these. I know. You're probably thinking, well, you needed more yellow. <laughs> but I didn't. There was like four. And I didn't want to. I, did, I, left some, I left some there just in case somebody was in the same boat as me. I didn't want to take it. <laughs> so I, let, I only got two. Because I know I'll find more later. Anyway, I got me two of these, and this is just Mainstay Yellow, and I really love the Mainstay. I really, really do. It's I, it's one of my favorites, too. I got one of the, two of those, and then I ended up picking up at Walmart one of these. I seen that scarf on there and thought I'd give it a try. Now, this is a Super Saver Color Block, and it's got 482 yards in it, and it is a size 4, and it recommends a 5.5 millimeter hook and a knitting needle is a five millimeter yeah so anyway isn't it pretty i love that scarf on there it's kind of what maybe and it only takes one of these to make that scarf so i'm tempted to make that scarf it's really pretty but look at all those colors in there beautiful and then the other one that I picked up at Walmart is I found some black of the Burnett blanket. And so I'm really excited about that. And that was the only one they had. I wanted to get two of them, but they only had the one. So I'm, I'm happy to get the one. Okay. Oh, and this is a size six. I'm not very good at telling the specs. I'm sorry, guys. Size six bulky. 
colorway black. Uh, it's got 220 yards in it. Recommends a size, uh, I guess I need to put my glasses on. Eight millimeter and eight millimeter on the uh, knitting needles too. So yeah. Okay. Now these that I'm going to show you next is ones that I ordered from Joann's and they had, I wish Walmart, they carry the velvet yarn, but I wish they carried different colors because the colors I got, they don't carry at Walmart, but that's okay. They did have free shipping, so that helped because these, I think, were actually the same price, but they were on sale too. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one. This one's a brunette velvet, and it's got 315 yards, and it is a size five and you can use a six and a half millimeter crochet hook and a six and a half needle a knitting needle and the colorway on this one is smoky green and it is beautiful and so my plans are to make another one of those floppy rabbits so I think it'll be pretty so that's what I got there and I hope I have enough because that one only took a hundred and I think it was 160 yards to make that rabbit. So I'm hoping this will be enough. And then I end up getting, and the specs are the same on the ones I'm going to show you. This is a colorway of softened blue. And it's really pretty too. It almost looks gray. It's got a bluish tint to it. And it's the same specs as this one's got. And then these other two I'm going to show you is I'm planning on making a bear. And this one is actually a bear by Sarah Zimmerman. And it's a bear with a heart in the middle of it. And so, here we are. I thought this was a gorgeous color. And it is a colorway of terracotta rose. Isn't that beautiful? And then I've got this one to go with it. And it is quite pink. I'm going to make a beautiful bear. I might put a heart in the middle of it. I don't know. I might make a bear out of that color and one out of this color. Never know. If I got enough from each one, I'll just put a heart of the different color on the other one. <laughs> Who knows about me? But anyway, that's what I got from Joann's. And I do have two more in here that I did get from Walmart and I didn't see it a while ago. I got some more of the velvet. And this is Mainstay. And it's got 80 yards in it and it's a six bulky. So I think it turned out really, really pretty. But anyway... That's what I have to show you on my yarn haul and on my finished objects. And I'll put links all down below if you guys would like to go check them out. But I'm going to hop off of here because it's starting to get a really, it's starting to get colder now. Because we're supposed to get some snow and ice and all that. So, and rain. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting at you real soon. <laughs>